All right, so uh, guys, I'm here with Anna and China and Chris, and uh, we're gonna do a talk a little bit about burpees and uh, the evolution of burpees in CrossFit. All right, so ideally a burpee, I know that like they actually taught burpees at my level one cert back in 2006, July. Yep. All right, and the standard was go down, touch your chest, jump back up to a squatting jumping position with flat feet, wider than your hands, and then jump up six inches off the ground. All right, um, so let's see something like that, China. Just give me a burpee where you just jump six inches straight up, just a nice tight burpee where you just, just give me one or two. So she would come down, jump up, and jump straight up and hit six inches. All right, very good, that's perfect. So she touched her chest, uh, she jumped up, hit that six inches over her head. Um, then things changed. So people said, well, six inches, it's hard to set up a target over somebody's head. So in the CrossFit Games, I believe it was 2008, they did the burpee. And the thought was you had to clap your hands behind your head, get your ear out in front of your, your arm, clap your hands behind your head. And um, the thought was that to do that, you would have to jump at least six inches for that to happen while you was in the air. Well, many uh, people at the games that you approved that you did not have to jump six inches, you barely even had to get off the ground, and that happened. So let's see the clap behind the head that people did in uh, 08. And all of a sudden, this became the, this became the burpee standard for uh, like a whole year, all right? So then a couple of other things have changed with the burpee too. Uh, now the big thing is that you have to touch the chest and the thighs on the ground, which I totally don't understand because as you get tired, everybody gets tired, if you touch the chest and the thighs to the ground, what are you going to do? You're probably going to end up start snaking up. So here's what happens when people get tired and they start doing a burpee where they have to touch everything to the ground. You'll see the upper body snakes up and then everything else catches up. All right. Then now they're even having guys teaching for like doing multiple burpees over time like the open workout last year that was that was uh, seven minutes of burpees and uh, guys uh, guys are teaching the uh, snake up bring your feet up to your hands like a toes to bar and then that it's like you, you exert less energy so somebody want to do that so are they going down doing a burpee snaking up bringing their feet all the way up to their hands and then basically just opening up the hip and standing up, all right? So that's cool um, for maybe for doing lots of burpees and a, a max burpees over a long period of time, but we have a challenge at One World this, this month and it is max burpees in one minute. And to do max burpees in one minute with a six inch target over your head, you're gonna have to do a burpee, tap the chest and jump up as fast as you can not jumping in, not bringing the feet up, not snaking, not doing a floppy. All right, we're gonna do a sick burpee. You get a question? With, with the tap of the chest, there's no thigh, thigh touch. No, no thigh touch, all right? All I want is a nice planked tap okay, position, nice. tap the chest, you come up. All right, so the idea is to avoid touch your thighs. Now, if you're not strong enough to do that, you're gonna end up touching your thighs, that's okay. But to get the most, the fastest burpees that you can do in a minute, you're not gonna touch the thigh. You're going to touch the chest and you're going to jump for that target overhead. What's the correct way to go? So you can just drop right to your chest into a nice planked push up position. All right. Let's see. Watch China. She'll, she'll pop out a couple. Just touching the chest, not the thighs. Except that her thighs are really big, so they kind of just touch. All right. <laughs> All right. So that is the, that's, those are going to be the fastest burpees. So, China, I know you're like a little bit tired, but here's what I want you to do I want you to do that again. Do me three. Can you, you mind doing 10 burpees for me right now? I want you to do f five like that. Take a rest for a second and then do five floppies and let's see which looks faster. All right, go ahead. So five tight ones. It's a tap and go. Chest is touching, thighs are not touching. She's maintaining a nice plank position, jumping up to that flat feet into a nice jumping position. That was five, all right? Now, Let's go, touch the chest, touch the thighs, snake the body back up, and pretty much what happens, it happens to everybody. I do a ton of burpees in a workout, it's what my burpees look like too, all right? And nobody's perfect, you know, it's hard to maintain that fast thing, but for one minute of max burpees, it's totally doable, all right? So let's see five doing the floppy standard, and you tell me what looks faster. Go faster! Yeah. Okay, good. 
Now Amy will be really mad at you for working out on your wrist uh, when you're not supposed to be doing something. All right, so that's the difference between the two, okay? So right now we're gonna film Anna on our, she's gonna be the first participant in our in our 30 day challenge Go here. Anna, I'm going to 10. Yes. All right, so here's how you guys, we're gonna set this challenge up. You're gonna find a target that's six inches over your highest reach. So show us that, Anna. We already actually measured it out. So when she stands upright, holds her hands over her head, the measurement from the tip of her finger to the bar is six inches. She's gonna do her burpee, ideally doing it the fast way that we should, but whatever happens as long as she touches her chest to the ground and she jumps up and taps that bar every rep. So let's see it, Anna. Just one, and it doesn't count towards your minute. Good, so as long as she touches that bar, she's good to go. All right, so we're gonna go for one minute. All right, how you feeling about this? Tired. Cheering section? Yeah! All right, clock is running. We're gonna go at the 30 second mark, all right, which happens in five seconds. China, you give her the countdown at the 30 second mark. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, Anna. Let's do it, Anna. All you gotta do is keep moving, keep tight. Try not to snake up, good. Jump to those oh, flat Anna. feet. Three, jump, Anna. Four. Five. You're almost done. Let's go, Anna. Come on. Come on. You have 20 seconds. Seven. All up, all up. Eight. Come on, Anna. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Nine. Ten at halfway. Good, good, good. Come on, Anna. Eleven. Let's go, Anna. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Good job, good job. Pick it up. Let's go, Anna. Come on. Down and up, down and up. 16. 10 seconds. Seventeen. Come on, come on. Three more. Come on. Three more. Eighteen. Come and on, Anna. Two more. Go. Oh, nice. Eighteen and a half. Eight, eighteen and a half? Eighteen and a drop. All right, we're, we're not going to count any halves on the... Uh, Please. On the <laughs> Tiebreaker. How did that feel, Anna? I think, you can I think I can get 30. Harder than snaking. Yeah. <laughs> It's harder, but I think that uh, you can get a lot more burpees if you go with that technique, and then you just work on, the, on moving that fast for uh, one minute. All right, good job. Cool, burpee.